Click on the Steel Column command from the Steel menu. Select the RHS 100 section, from the Steel Column Toolbar section list. Click on the C1 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the C2 axis intersection. Change the column reference point, by pressing the spacebar on the keyboard. Bring the 15 cm side of the column on the axis C. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Click on the D1 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the D2 axis intersection. Change the column reference point, and bring the 15 cm side of the column on axis D. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Click on the C2 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the C3 axis intersection. Change the column reference point, and bring the 15 cm side of the column on axis C. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Click on the D2 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the D3 axis intersection. Change the column reference point, and bring the 15 cm side of the column on axis D. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Click on the C3 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the C4 axis intersection. Change the column reference point, and bring the 15 cm side of the column on axis C. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Click on the D3 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the D4 axis intersection. Change the column reference point and bring the 15 cm side of the column on axis D. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Click on the C4 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the C3 axis intersection. Change the column reference point, and bring the 15 cm side of the column on axis C. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Click on the D4 axis intersection, and move your mouse over the D3 axis intersection. Change the column reference point, and bring the 15 cm side of the column on axis D. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Press the escape key on the keyboard, to exit the command. Steel columns are completed.